Hello folks, Peter Lawn here. Welcome to my tutorial series on how to get set up to use Blender to build bases in No Man's Sky. This is part two of a series of videos um, where we're going to talk about uh, backing up your No Man's Sky save game files. Heck, uh, nobody wants to lose hundreds of hours of gameplay progress. Uh, and then we're going to actually show you the import and export method and we'll work on actual bases uh, to see the effects. Uh, this tutorial is designed for PC users, and if you are unfamiliar with the software needed, please check out my part one uh, of this series for an overview of software setup and workflow. I'm going to work backwards in this tutorial a little bit, and rather than getting to, into the how to use Blender, the No Man's Sky Save Game Editor, or the NMS plugin, I'm just going to quickly show you the mechanics of setting up the base, importing it to Blender, and quickly building something, and then export to the game to see the workflow process in action. If you already know this process, you can jump to part three of the series to get more detail on how to move around in Blender and manipulate objects, or part four of the series, which looks at uh, more detail of the plugin. So I highly recommend backing up your No Man's Sky save game before you start messing around with it in the save game editor. In all the time I've worked with it, I have not messed up a single save game yet, but better be safe than sorry. The easiest way to find your save file location is to launch the save editor um, and then highlight the save file path location. Um, hit Control c to copy that path and then open File Explorer and paste it into the address bar with uh, Control v and hit Enter. Uh, this will open the file location and you can highlight the files to back up. With your save uh, location folder in view, copy over the files to your backup location. Make sure you copy and don't move these files, otherwise you're going to mess up your save games. If you ever screw up a save file, just copy those files back into the save game folder and you're good to go. The save game editor always works on the most current save game file. Uh, the editor also has a built-in backup function to save the game files. To open these files in the editor, just select the save file drop-down and you can see the previous history of backups. You may not have this history if you're just beginning with the editor, but they will start populating as you overwrite save games. You might be asking, well, why do I need two systems for backing up save games? Um, and as mentioned before, better safe than sorry, uh, as I have experienced a loss of editor backups when it went through a software update. Plus, I can name my folders um, the save files are in to give me an idea on when I back them up. Also, to find the location of the editor backup files, go to the editor shortcut we created in part one of these series and right mouse click on it and select properties and then click on the open file location button to show the install directory of the save game editor. Uh, you note the backups folder uh, that's shown here where the files are stored. Okay, enough talk. Let's build something on our base. All right, base setup. One thing to note when you're laying your base computer down in No Man's Sky, be aware which direction your base computer is pointing when you first construct it. This forward direction will be perfectly aligned with the Y axis in the Blender 3D workspace. Once we have uh, the base dropped down, it's often good to drop down some pipes or stairs within the game to give you an idea of the overall base elevation changes and the direction you want to build out to. For this exercise, I'm going to quickly build a glass dome and import it into the game. It's not going to be perfect. We'll learn about perfection later, but it'll demonstrate the import and export process. After you've laid down your markers and your base is ready for editing, make sure you note the name of the base computer and then jump in and out of your spaceship um, to update the save file in the game. Now we're going to import our base. Alt-Tab to switch out of the game into Windows and launch the No Man's Sky save game editor. Load up the particular save game you have your base in. You can check which save game it is by the date stamp shown. Once the save file is located, we will go to the menu Edit and select Edit Raw JSON. Think of the JSON file as an organization tool for all your save game information. We're only interested in the base information section we are currently working on, so we'll have to find it first. On the left-hand side of the JSON editor, you'll see a list of save game information headers, and uh, the base info is located in a section called Player State Data. Expand this header by hitting the little plus symbol beside it, and you'll see additional headers populate below in the left window. 
The one we're searching for is about three quarters of the way down under a heading called Persistent Player Bases. Once you locate this header, click again on the little plus icon to display a series of numbers. This is where all your base information is stored in the current save game. When you click on a numbered heading on the left window, the right window will populate with the particular base information. Right now you might be asking, how do I know which number is my current base? You should see the base name somewhere near the bottom of the data. I can see this isn't the base we were currently working on, but I happen to know it's number 5 on the list. I'll select all and check the name against my base computer to see it's the right one, which it is. Once I find the right base, I move the cursor into the right window section. I have everything selected already and now I copy the base info into the clipboard with Control c Now go into Blender program and create a new workspace by placing the cursor somewhere in the main 3D workspace and hitting Control plus the N key. We now import our base information that is currently sitting in the clipboard by clicking on the No Man's Sky plugin button near the top called Import NMS. Wait a few seconds to load and your base is now in the 3D workspace. You'll notice the direction of the base is pointing along the yellow Y axis. I'm going to quickly build a glass floor dome in Blender and we're going to export the base back into No Man's Sky game so you can see the process. Once we've made our changes in Blender, we hit the Export NMS button at the top of the plugin. This copies the entire Blender base info into the Windows clipboard. We then switch back to the Save Game Editor, make sure we still have the right base info selected, and we can hit the Control V to paste the new base info into this section. We now just uh, close the JSON editor, say yes to save the changes, and then click the Save Changes button on the main page of the Save Game Editor. This updates the save file in the No Man's Sky game. Switch to the No Man's Sky and reload your save and your new base will be imported. So it's a pretty easy process um, and to keep these tutorials short I'm just going to say thanks for watching. Check out the next part in this series, part 3, where we look closer at the Blender interface and how you can efficiently move around in the 3D workspace, as well as some tips on how to manipulate base objects.